Scanned 3D found inside a SOLIDWORKS Premium allows you to work with mesh and point cloud data. And there are several formats supported. In our case, we'll be working with a point cloud. To work with this point cloud, we'll want to start by turning it into a mesh. And the Mesh Prep Wizard makes this simple. First off, we can locate the point cloud in our part file using any of the cloud points. Alternatively, we can position it using numerical input. In our case, however, we'll leave it in its default position. Next, we can remove excess noise from the point cloud to make working with it easier if needed. We can also remove geometry from the point cloud, such as the clamps that were used to hold it in place while scanning the physical part. Finally, we can simplify the overall mesh with a slider. We, however, want to keep all the detail provided. Clicking Finish, SOLIDWORKS will turn the point cloud into a usable mesh, similar to an STR or VML. Once this is done, we can make final tweaks, such as smoothing out any rough edges. This can be done globally or in a localized area of the mesh. Any holes in this mesh can be automatically filled as well. Next, we launch right into turning this mesh into SOLIDWORKS surfaces. The Surface Wizard provides automatic and guided creation tools. In our case, we'll look at guided creation. First, we'll break the mesh up into quarters. As a symmetrical part, we can mirror and pattern our work later. To this, the Surface Wizard allows us to symmetrically break the part up. Once we've broken the mesh up, Scanned 3D will paint the mesh into separated or discrete surfaces. Once it has done this, we can modify the results by using the paintbrush to blend, combine, and separate surfaces. Finally, we want to turn each discrete mesh area into an appropriate SOLIDWORKS surface or feature. Scanned 3D will find the most suitable geometry type to match the surface. We can further dictate and modify these results, however. In this case, we can turn several of the holes into cylindrical surfaces. In this way, each surface is created as standard geometry. We can specifically control each surface or let Scanned 3D do this for us. All the while we make changes, there is a total of surfaces left to be specified in the Property Manager. For any surfaces we did not explicitly define, Scanned 3D will create the most suitable surface type. Once the mesh has been turned into SOLIDWORKS surfaces, we can use traditional SOLIDWORKS surfacing tools such as Trim, Extend, and others to turn the now surface data into a completely solid model. Scanned 3D provides premium users with the added benefit of working with scanned data out of the box in an easy step-by-step -step methodology.